Francis embarks on the next leg of his U.S. journey tonight. He is leading an evening prayer service at St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City. Now, earlier today, he made history in our nation's capital. KRDO News Channel 13's Rana Novini joins us live in studio. And Rana, once again, the pontiff touching on some controversial topics. Now he is. He delivered a speech to a joint meeting of Congress talking about everything from immigration to the death penalty. Mr. Speaker! The Pope of the Holy See. Making history, Pope Francis becomes the first pontiff to walk down the House chambers and address a joint meeting of Congress. In the land of the free at the home of the brave. 50,000 people watched from outside the Capitol on monitors. The Pope urged lawmakers to work together to help the powerless. I'm convinced that we can make a difference. I'm sure. His words brought some to tears, though other parts of his speech were more controversial. He took a hard stance against the death penalty and urged Americans to offer support to refugees abroad and immigrants in the United States. Let us remember the golden rule. Do unto others as you. Later in the day, the pontiff passed on lunch with members of Congress and opted instead to feed the homeless. Buen <laughs> The next stop on his U.S. journey is New York City, where NYPD is taking on its biggest security operation ever. Nobody does it better than we do because New York being the capital of the world, we have, we have the most practice doing it. Already, the streets of New York are filled with cheers from the faithful, <laughs> awaiting the Holy Father's next message. And tomorrow, the pontiff will address the United Nations General Assembly and visit the World Trade Center site. And tomorrow night, he'll lead mass in Madison Square Garden for an estimated 20,000 people. Reporting live in studio, Rana Novini, KRDO News Channel 13. All right, thanks, Rana, and stay tuned.